There's this video of a supposed GTA 6 gameplay leak with off-road sand trails testing, and some people even made it look just like the first trailer leak from December last year, but it's a total fake. The original video was posted by OpenAI. They're testing their new AI model and published some showcase videos of it, including this one. At first glance, I thought it was a real leak, and even though it's not, I wouldn't be surprised if off-roading looked very similar. You all know how good the graphics looked in the trailer, and this video made me even more hyped to explore the entire state of Leonida with all the new vehicles. So, since we have this fake debunked, let's switch gears a bit and cover some legitimate stuff. It looks like we've been getting some real info about what's going to be in the first GTA 6 trailer before it was published by Rockstar Games. No one knows who leaked all that stuff, but we've got some interesting info about the game. But let's start from the beginning. Recently, one of the Reddit users posted, the mystery of user, well look who's back. He said, so a while ago there was this person who predicted the song that would be used in the GTA 6 trailer before it even came out. Afterward, some in this subreddit asked him where they got that information from, and he just pointed at their username, which was the exact quote the lady with the hammers used in the trailer. Well, look who's back. They also repeatedly said the trailer is coming out on December 6th weeks prior, but was mostly ignored. That might have even been the original date for the reveal, since it's only one day after the official one. Lastly, they also said the trailer was going to showcase the world and get everyone excited about the crazy stuff happening. I'm guessing with crazy stuff they meant the TikToks. I personally don't think this person is a hacker that somehow got into the servers, but an actual Rockstar Games employee, or a child of one, since contrary to the other leakers, they are very supportive of Rockstar in general, and didn't leak anything crazy that might disrupt the game's development. They are also very defensive of Aaron as well as the rest of the team, and regularly shit-talk the leakers, also mentioned they will be getting the game for free. The person deleted the account shortly afterwards, but the interesting thing is that they created it on November 19th, 2023, which means they must have seen the trailer at least two weeks before it dropped. Now the person themselves have said the majority of employees haven't seen the trailer for fear of the song being leaked, which adds up with the devs themselves saying on Twitter they watched the trailer for the first time when it came out. The fact that they themselves watched it, though, might even suggest he's pretty high up in the food chain. Besides, what intern would have the balls to just casually leak things on a GTA subreddit? They also seem mildly annoyed that Dan left the company to work on American Caper, which could mean they have at least interacted with him, and that there's some resentment against Dan in the studio ever since he left. Now, after talking for so long about their identity, let's get straight to the point on what was revealed about GTA 6. First up, there's dual-wielding weapons confirmed. It's one of these features from GTA San Andreas that we all want to make a comeback. With the release of Max Payne 3 and Red Dead Redemption 2, players also could dual wield any single-handed weapons in any combination of their choice. And the return of this feature in GTA 6, with the upgrades made by Rockstar and other games, could make its combat one of the best in the franchise. Next up, there's gore and dismemberment in the game. The trailer didn't really show much of this feature, and it's another thing we've seen both in San Andreas and Red Dead. It simply lets you dismember pedestrians by blowing their head and other body parts off with weapons you choose. Then there's a mention of different color sunsets like orange, purple, and pinkish for Miami. And the trailer actually confirmed this information right from the start, where the landscape shimmers in such colors. Another feature is the basketball 3-on-3. Three -three. This one I found a bit interesting because Rockstar and LeBron James hyped each other up when the trailer was released. It would be cool if they used him for motion capture. It is worth noting that GTA San Andreas is the only game that allows gamers to play basketball. So it's another feature possibly making a comeback from this game. Then he mentioned that it will be hard harder to carjack NPCs. It's something I've mentioned a few months ago in one of my videos. This feature is one of those that divided players. Some would like car theft to indeed be more challenging, while others consider it an unnecessary complication. I think that at the beginning, it may be quite interesting, but with longer gameplay, it could become annoying. I hope that if this feature is indeed in the final game, Rockstar will implement it in a balanced way so as not to ruin such an important element of the game. The leaker was also saying some obvious stuff like the gameplay leak we saw as an old build build and the game will look much better. He probably talked about the leaks from September 2022, and it's one of those pieces of information we knew from the start. Each leaked footage was dated and timed, and it was clear they were not current recordings. Another pretty obvious thing he mentioned is that there is apparently nothing like the real map, and no one will know what it looks like before the game comes out. Here I partly agree because indeed we are not able to know what the entire map of GTA 6 looks like, but it's not 100% true. The GTA 6 mapping community has been working for many months 
on a legitimate map of the game based on the leaks, which actually contained coordinates of where the player is located, and then they also added locations seen in the trailer. One of the last interesting things the leaker wrote is that Jamie King's opinion on GTA 6 has no value and is irrelevant. If you don't know who that is, Jamie King was a co-founder and vice president of development at Rockstar Games, but he left the studio in 2006 following a disagreement over the future direction of the Grand Theft Auto series and several other Rockstar titles. A few years ago, he spoke on the company's future, claiming that the upcoming releases such as GTA 6 may not be as edgy or quite as humorous as we've come to expect. Okay, but getting back to the mysterious Reddit account leaking all that info, who was that person? No one knows. He definitely works for Rockstar, but I doubt it's Sam Hauser as some think. One of the users said he could be a senior video editor who worked on the trailer directly because he was disturbed by the departure of Dan Hauser, so he likely had some years under his belt. What's even more interesting, he's not the only person who knew a lot about the trailer before it even dropped. There was another user, Jarl of Rivia, who claimed to have seen the trailer and pointed out a few things. First, he mentioned the scenery is very tropical, looks like paradise. There are some islands, and it looks absolutely surreal. And he also said there's a part that's being filmed by a helicopter view, and you see a car on the street upside down, with several car pieces around it from the crash. Then he mentioned, there's a part with some ladies dancing on top of cars, and the character faces are 1,000 times better than in RDR2. Also, the main characters appear in bed, a swamp appears with a hovercraft-type boat, and there were flamingos and crocodiles. Police body cam footage appears showing entry into a house, and civil police are seen taking a crocodile out of a swamp swimming pool, a chihuahua on the beach with its owners jogging with lots of people there. He definitely knew a lot, and it was before the trailer dropped. Was he the same person as the one I talked about earlier? We will probably never know, but it's really intriguing that so much information about the game and trailer appeared around the same time. This second person initially also mentioned that the game is expected to appear in the first quarter of 2025, probably January or February. This was later debunked by the user themselves in several comments though. And while we're on the topic of the release date, there's this article saying that previous indications from Take-Two management suggested GTA 6 would release during the company's fiscal year 2025, which runs April 1st, 2024, March 31st, 2025. However, during Take-Two's earnings call, CFO Laney Goldstein said the company is in the midst of the budgeting process for fiscal year 25, and the figure currently is looking like it will come in at a little north of $7 billion. This is down from a previous forecast of $8 billion. Such a significant reduction points to GTA 6 slipping out of fiscal year 25 and into a window between April and December of 2025. One of the GTA Forum's users replied to that, if that revenue bump is actually for GTA 6, which it probably is, this could suggest that they might be trying to squeeze it into fiscal year 2025 by releasing it in the last week of March 2025. That way, they get 4 to 5 days worth of sales instead of 30 to 40 days if it were, say, a February 2025 release, hence the lower than expected revenue projections. I I still think it'll get delayed to mid-late 2025, but there's still a possibility of a first quarter of 2025 release. Tez2, who hardly needs any introduction, replied, And if that was indeed GTA 6, then a February release wouldn't have made much sense if the delay was purely for technical reasons. You would expect that to be more of a marketing decision, or that the game is in an almost perfect state to be released, but there are a few bugs to squish out. But that decision may not be made until we are closer to that window, when it's very clear to the management what the state of the game is. If the delay is purely technical, to have enough time to make substantial progress, then the small period from January through February, while simultaneously ensuring no crunch occurs, doesn't meet the criteria of enough time. Hence, Rockstar delaying GTA 5 expanded and enhanced to March, not February, to have enough time for polishing. And this is the same case when RDO was in active development. It's only by early February that we tend to see updates continuing the DLC development. You wouldn't expect accelerated progress with devs just coming off the holiday. Basically, it would have been a March release from the get-go if we're talking talking purely technical reasons, and if Take-Two or Rockstar couldn't meet a holiday 2024 window, which they were likely considering back in May, then the next reasonable window would have been a March release. So if Q1 2025 boils down to a March release, and let's suppose it's squeezed out into the end of the month based off the lower than expected revenue projection, and we have the two previous games as precedents, and Rockstar not being obligated to meet that deadline for Take-Two's sake if there's a need to delay, then there are not enough reasonable grounds to be 
confident of that window as much as I would love to see a March release. So we still cannot be sure in which month GTA 6 will be released, but there's a good chance that the second trailer will reveal a more specific date and may even start pre-orders for the upcoming game. Actually a lot could happen between the first and second trailers, and any moment now we might get some official screenshots from Rockstar. Spider Vice made an interesting timeline of what happened before the second trailer for GTA 5. In July 2012, we got the first two screenshots of the game, and then in August, the viral Epsilon program Twitter account started. A bit later the same month, we got another portion of screenshots of transport, business, and leisure. Next, we have the announcement of Game Informer's November 2012 cover being GTA 5, accompanied by a huge info blowout. Then in October, Rockstar released the first artwork named Pest Control. Later the same month, we got a leak of artwork with Chop, the original release date, and platforms. In the next couple of days, more artwork leaked. On November 1st, 2012, we had the leaks of the viewfinder, picture viewer, pre-order bonuses that you could physically look into and see pics of Vespucci Beach, Grapeseed, etc. Trailer 2 was announced on November 2nd and released on November 14th. All of this stuff happened before Trailer 2 was released, and by the time it did, a bunch of magazines were getting previews too. So there's a chance for lots of info before we even think of a trailer. It's worth mentioning that over a year has passed between the first and the second GTA 5 trailer, but I'm pretty sure this scenario won't happen again in the case of GTA 6.